Hey everyone, welcome in. This is Julie Max and the Main Stamper, and I am back for a regularly scheduled Monday card class. So last week, if you joined me, thank you so much for having fun. We partied so hard. We did my annual mystery host party. So all week long, we were playing silly games. We were doing fun things. It was a little bit crazy. It was definitely different. I know a lot of you guys said you had a really good time, and I'm glad that you did because I love to have fun and that's you know kind of what we did so we had a really great time our mystery host jane radomsky i pulled her out of the hat right we pulled her out of the, well it was a glass bowl technically i pulled her name out of the glass bowl as the winner she put um she put in a qualifying order as did everyone else to get into that mystery host pool and jane is getting 175 dollars in free stampin up merchandise plus a half price item hi jess i see that you say i'm coming in and out so hopefully um, other people might jump on and say that I'm doing okay. Hopefully it's okay. Um, and then, hi Jackie, there's always replay. So if, if your internet isn't quite catching what I'm trying to put out there in the waves right now, um, it's a possibility that it could just be connections in different places. Cause I know you guys are watching me from all, all over and that's really, really awesome. So we are getting back to serious card making business today. We are, we are done monkeying around. Or are we? So this is a monkeying around week. We're using little monkey stamp set. You can see the little monkeys here. We're not done monkeying around. We're going to have fun with monkeys this week. Um, as mentioned, I do like to have fun. So I'm going to throw the occasional puns in there as well. So that is what we're working on this week. We have some really sweet little cards. Jackie says she can hear me good and Jess is okay now. Okay. Hi. Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining. I was just saying that we're done. We're not, we're not done monkeying around. Actually, we're monkeying around again this week too. So let's get over to my workspace because we're going to talk about the um, the monkey, the little monkey bundle stamp set and the builder punch. We're going to talk about what a builder punch is and how it works. I'm going to show you three different ways that you can stamp and use the monkeys in this little monkey stamp set. Now there are three different monkey images in here. It's a really cute stamp set um, and I'm going to throw, I'm going to, I'm going to be using two of them but I do have three different techniques because uh, there's so much that you can do with these cute little critters. Okay, so we're going to get over to my workspace and I'm going to talk to you about the card kits. I'm going to talk to you about the embellishment you get for free. Hi, Sandra. Sandra was my, um, my spelling police earlier and I really appreciate that, Sandra. Thank you. Um, I am also really interested in spelling things right, typing them right. I don't, I don't like it when I do it wrong. So thank you for helping me with that today. Hi, Patty. Um, so we're going to talk about our offer for the week. And hi, Roxana. We're also going to talk about Stampin' Up! just announced free shipping day this Wednesday. It is true. So there's going to be a really great value for you in the middle of the week. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as well. So let us pop over to my workspace. And we're going to start talking about, wait a minute, this is the Zany Zoo. We covered Zany Zoo. What I wanted to show you, though, really, is in the catalog, 46, Zany Zoo, the, this is the suite. It's a whole suite. So it's not just about Zany Zoo. It's about birds and crazy roosters, right? It's about bunnies and geese. It's about fun taco guys, the monkeys. So you can see there's a theme here. We've got some food items in here. We've got the adorable little dreamers. Really cute stamp set. Ladybugs, hedgehogs, more birds. So you can see playing in the rain. You can see that this is a fun suite. That was our suite right there. That whole section, all of those different items. As it makes up part of the suite. So Little Monkey is jammed right in the middle of it. Now Little Monkey is photopolymer. Actually, I have a lot of these mounted up. There's very few that I don't. Um, as I mentioned earlier, three little monkeys in three little different positions. So they're doing some gymnastics here. One monkey, only one monkey is gonna work with the builder punch. So this is the builder punch. I'm showing you the back because the front is gonna glare terribly. We're gonna use this in class tonight though. So I'm gonna show you how to use it, um, how you're gonna use it for the card kits that I'm making. We've got a branch for swinging monkeys. We've got just swinging by to say hi, which is you know one of our sentiments here. Little monkey is a sentiment, I'm bananas about you. I teased that one earlier. We have a banana. We have a heart. We have assorted leaves. This, and, oh, okay. I should say we have two bananas. We have one that's closed and one that's peeled open. Really awesome stamp set. We got the builder punch. We're going to be using this. And let's talk a little bit about your um, offers for the week here. So your host code this week is K667UXNS. 
That is a mouthful. But the Little Monkey card class is free. You get six card kits with your $35 order. So $35 in Stampin' Products plus six card kits. That's like banging value right there. If you go to 50, I'm gonna bump in the linen thread. So this is a linen thread. This is a staple. This is a classic. Um, you're going to get a whole brand new spool of this with your card kits. You're going to be using linen thread for a while. Linen thread is going in with the offer this week and it's good through fri end of day Friday, June 23rd, before we start our next class for next week. Now on Wednesday, Stampin' Up! just announced on June 21st, one day only, it's free shipping and your orders have to be over 75. So it's before shipping and tax. But if you place an order on Wednesday over 75, you're gonna get free shipping, you're gonna get six card kits, you're gonna get linen thread, and I'm gonna throw in a bonus mystery embellishment, right? So because you're bumping up to 75 on that day, and it's on that day only, I'm gonna throw in a bonus. So there's a lot of value on Wednesday. Now, if you um, have a couple of friends that are like also enjoying stamping and you wanna to pool together an order of $75, you guys are going to save. Now, let's say you do it with two friends. You're getting six card kits. You can split the card kits too, right? You can split the linen thread. You can split the embellishments, however you wanna do it. But there are other ways besides just spending it on your own to get that um, over that $75. And don't forget, DSP is on sale through June 30th. So there's a lot of great things right now. A lot of great things um, getting you that value. So let's take a quick peek at some of our cards tonight. These are the card kits you would be getting. So you'd be making two of each. Our first one is I'm Bananas About You. And this of course has crumb cake and some yellow. So monkey colors, right? Brown and yellow, right? For the bananas and the monkey, really cute. This guy is uh, stamped with Memento. We're gonna color him in with some Stampin' Blends. So that's my first card. This card, oh, this one's fun. I left this loose a little bit. I'm trying to get this to swing. So this actually, this little sign that this monkey's holding is loose. So you can see here that it's loose. It will swing back and forth. And this says just swinging by to say hi. So this is our second card. And our third card is super cute and it's also super easy to change the colors. You're actually getting white. This is like a little chest of drawers, a little dresser, right? This is a shaped card. So when you get done making this card, it looks like a little dresser and it's got little monkeys in it. Now, I'm sending this to you in white so you can sponge this in any color you want. Now I am sending you a soft sea foam, little scalloped punch piece here. You can swap that out with another one if you want to. But um, what I'm trying to say is you could do this in any color. This does not have to be soft seafoam green. And if you didn't want to use monkeys, you could definitely not use monkeys. But you are getting this cute little, this cute little card here. And we're going to talk about all of that in a little bit as we get to that one. We're going to start with number one card though. We always start here with uh, the e an easy card first, right? So this is your card kit. Again, when you get them in the mail, you've got two card bases, two envelopes, and everything you see here is what comes to you. So you're getting die cut circles. I love the stylus shapes. I'm using them all the time. I'm gonna continue to use them all the time. You're getting an embossed piece. This is crumb cake, and it is embossed with the geometric patterns embossing folders. These are three inch wide folders. So this one, you can kind of see it's got lines and like little little um, half diamonds and then stripies. The next one down is like all little triangles. So depending on which way you use it, they are um, the smaller embossing folders. They're three inches wide. And so that's coming to you already, already embossed. So you're getting that. Um, just making sure I have everything that I need here. And then we're gonna create a card. So two card bases and a little bit of designer paper. Now this designer paper I picked because I wanted you know, kind of to reflect the bananas. This is actually from the um, designer pack. It's kind of funny, right? How you find paper. The Lay Shops. So this is from the Shops designer paper. So when you saw the Shops designer paper, you know, all those little houses and shops in the catalog, and you're like, I'm not gonna use houses and shops. Check out the back side because a lot of times the more plain patterns are on the back and they're extra versatile. So these, this was perfect to send you a little bit of this. So let's start putting this card together. I'll show you how easy it goes. The first thing we're gonna do, and this is optional. I don't know if you can tell from the card here, but I am going to sponge down and deepen this, this emboss piece to make it a little bit darker. So this is what it looks like when it comes to you. And I'm just gonna bring in a blending brush and crumb cake ink. And we're just gonna kind of do all of it. We're gonna do all of it. A lot of times I'm like, just do the outside, but we're gonna do 
all of it. So I'm trying to do the outside a little bit darker, but I'm also trying to come in a little bit farther because um, we're just going to make this a lot darker. Now I'm not trying, I'm not trying really hard to be light and just catch the top of the embossed pieces. You definitely could if you wanted to, but I am okay with just kind of doing the whole thing up here and making it a lot darker. So there we go. I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> and that's a pretty easy thing to darken down. And, and you can really see the embossed sections so much better. Now this is the debossed side. So if you prefer the debossed side, you could definitely use this side. If you deepened, if you deepened it with some ink, it would um, it would look really dark because it's going to go it's going to cover more surface than the raised side. All right, so that is our crumb cake. We've got that part done. Do I have a card base? I do somewhere. Let me reach and find. I always have a folded card base so that we're ready to go here. So let's talk about the bones of our card, right? Because I like to talk about bones with you. Just in case you're like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not into the monkey thing. I don't want the monkeys. What else can I do with my card kit? There's so much, right? You guys are so clever and creative when it comes to these card kits. I think I'm trying to put tape on two of these or glue. And I only want glue on one. So this piece right here, I'm just going to put this on the right side, just flat down, leaving that little border on the left. No, nope, make that the right. Uh, I'm leaving a big border on the left. I'm leaving a small border on the right. So we're going to put that there. We're going to add adhesive to, and I started that wrong. Okay, let me back up the boat before the monkeys fall off. And we're going to, we're going to bring in our linen thread. I totally missed the step. So I have linen thread wrapped around this piece before I put it on the white. And I think I wanted you guys to cut, I, I cut a lot of this. So we're going to cut, um, we'll go with like 24. I think I said 22 in my directions, but because I don't have them quite handy, we're going to, we're going to make sure we have enough. So I grabbed my silicone mat. This thing is amazing. You're going to definitely want to have one of these at all times because I started to glue this as an oops. I can put this down on here and not worry about this glue getting where I don't want it. I'm going to try to not have it go too far, but chances are it's going to end up all over my fingers and everything. All right, we're going to leave some here to tie on the left and I'm just going to wrap a couple times over here and I am setting it down on my silicone mat. And now I'm gonna make a little knot over here on the left also. So there we go, just like so. I saved this before I put it down. Typically I put it down and go, oh no. And that's okay too, right? These are craft accidents. They are accidents that happen while you're crafting. You didn't mean to do it, but in the end it's okay because you make it work out. And then maybe it looks better than you anticipated it would look. Right. Okay, so I have this little knot here. So I have this wrapped around here th three times. I'm gonna trim. You can leave it long if you want. This is nice if you can't create bows easily. Doing little knots <clears throat> is just a really nice way to, uh, to, to solve that problem of the bow, right? All right, so now, now we're adding adhesive. I got ahead of myself there for a second. So we're gonna put this down on this white cardstock layer. And this white layer just really adds a lot of brightness to the card. Otherwise it would be very brown and very yellow. And so we're just bringing in this little layer of white here. I love to matte things. So there we go, saved and perfect. Now this is gonna go on our card base with some dimensions. So let me grab those out real quick. I have a new sheet. So that's always exciting right now. Um, depending on how, and like if you want to do this on this side, no, that wouldn't work. Never mind. I'm thinking and then I'm like, no, that wouldn't work. We're covering it. You'd have to move that over. Okay. Before you glue this down, if you wanted to change the orientation so that, for example, and this is kind of nice, I guess I'm showing you two different ways. On this card, I have this uh, diagonal stripe here and these up and down ones, uh, little um, emboss pieces on the right side. This time I'm flipping them. So they're basically flipped. So I guess, I guess I'm just showing you that you can do it different ways. And the good news is you get two card kits, right? So you can change it up part way through if you want to. 
You can do one one way and one the other way. Let's see. Oh, no, I love, no, yep, it's going this way, Julie. Boy, oh boy, you'd think it's been a week since I made a card. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> oh, okay. I will get this together. Uh, this is my monkeying around here, you guys. I'm just like, <laughs> not on purpose, but the monkeys are deep in my craft room. And um, when we, when I was talking with, uh, showing my husband that I was working with monkeys this week, he started showing me, he's like, he pulled out all kinds of different monkey, you know, themed things, monkey memes. And I had no idea, right, that there was so many monkey things. Earlier I talked about, hey, hey, the monkeys, right, the band, the monkeys. The, I remember there was a, um, a television show all about the monkeys. It was great. So we were, we've been talking monkeys in, in my craft room here for a few days, and I feel like there are definitely monkeys in the works here. All right, so I'm just making sure I have everything that I want for my card. So here's the bones of your card, right? So you have all of these pieces. You have this nice little yellow layering piece. If you didn't want to do monkeys, you could definitely do something else with this. This is kind of almost like a fall themed card. You could change it up to some leaves. You could put, um, you could make this a little bit more masculine. You could put other critters on here. So I'm just showing you that there's so much that you can do with the card kits. Now you do have these two white pieces. You've got the white embossed circle and you've got this little rectangle of white. We're gonna start some stamping now. So we're bringing in the Memento ink for this one. And we are going to take our monkey and I wanted to show you that the monkey punch only works with one monkey. And for some reason I've misplaced my stamp set. Here it is. All right, this is the monkey right here that will work with your punch. So the monkey that's kind of coming down this way will not work with the punch. And this one does not either. So these two you could fussy cut or you could do what we're gonna do later uh, with one of them. But you don't have to fussy cut them if you don't want to. So for this one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna punch this out. And <clears throat> I would like you to stamp this as far to the left as you can. Get a nice monkey in here. And then we're going to punch him out. So you're going to use this upside down. You're going to slide it in the top here. And you're going to line up your monkey just like so. And as soon as you're happy with it, as soon as you like the placement, I'll put it down this way so it doesn't pop at you. So here is our little monkey. Now we do, we do have to color him in. But you do have a whole bunch of extra cardstock here, and that's on purpose because we're gonna we're gonna give our monkey a banana. So next we're gonna just punch out a banana. So just go ahead and pop the banana in over here. You'll have extra room if you want to do you know something else. But we I'm just doing one banana here on the scrap, and I try to give you when you have to punch something. I try to give you enough cardstock so that you can hold on to it and slide it in and out easily. Um, cause it's really, it's, it's, it gets difficult when you can't quite, um, you know, get your paper into the punch where you want it and hold on to the side. Then you've got to pull out some post-it notes and do different tricky things. Um, so it gets a little crazy while we have the memento out, we're going to do our sentiment. I'm bananas about you. So we're going to just pop this onto this white circle here. And then we're going to do some bananas, but I want the banana that has the open peel. So we're going to just kind of pop some of these up here in a nice little circular manner. And I'm just going to kind of flip them around different directions for fun. It's almost like our little monkey here is juggling bananas, which is great. Okay, so there's just our, we can get four of them on here in this little circle. And now we're going to do a little bit of coloring. Let me move these aside. Hopefully... We're good with all of that. We're good with that. Okay, so for the coloring for this, we're gonna start with the bananas because they're easy. We're bringing in the Daffodil Delight. So we're using light and dark. And I'm using the little nub end because I like that one best. So we're gonna just color the bottom of the banana, not the open peels. We're gonna color those real quick. There's one, and these color in really quickly, which is nice. Two, and I'm rotating. I guess you don't really have to rotate if you're just paying attention to where in the lines you're trying to color, but sometimes visually it's helpful to rotate your image. All right, we're coming in with a light now. With the light one, we're just gonna do these two peels that are open on the side. And we'll catch all those real quickly. I'm just gonna be quiet here for a minute while I color and concentrate. Okay, 
And the last thing we're going to color on here are, is that little, um, the little, I don't know what you call that, on the very end of the banana. But I do have the dark pecan pie. So you could do any brown in here, really. So just that little tiny nub there on the end of the banana. And there's our I'm Bananas About You. It's super cute. That's going to go on our, um, our other circle. Now let's do the same thing. Actually, we don't need the brown. We need the... I should have done these while I had this open. The other banana, our monkey's banana, right? So I'm just doing, there's a nice little line down the middle of the banana. So I'm doing one side dark and one side light. And that just gives it a little bit of shading. And that was it. My banana is colored. Now that was pretty easy, right? Let's do our little monkey. So I have for the face, I have the um, Stampin' Up! sells a whole set of colors in some neutrals. This is the 800 and I'm gonna do his ears, and I'm gonna do his little heart-shaped face. But I'm not gonna do it when you do this, just go around his eyes. He does have a little bit of white in his eyes, so you don't wanna necessarily give him pink eye, right? Monkey don't need pink eye. So we color him in real quickly here. You can use um, petal pink in here too. You could use some different colors as well. And if you go over the outside, a couple of times you're going to actually create some shading because you're doing you can you can continue to put color on an image with these blends which is really nice so it gives like a little bit of a lighter color where you don't go over it a lot um, and that is so awesome I'm coming in with a light pecan pie now and we're going to color the rest of our monkey so again these are small images they don't take a long long time to color which is nice I am not the most patient of colors. I really have to be in the mood. I know some people love it. They think it's relaxing. I'm like, hmm, let's continue to stamp and go. So when we get to my next two cards, there is not the coloring like there is in this one. So I'm just going to go around the whole monkey here with this light pecan pie. This is the perfect brown for our little monkey here. The pecan pie, I feel like, kind of replaced soft suede when they got rid of soft suede. This is a richer, warmer, a little bit more like uh, baked brown sugar. If you remember that color, that was a great brown. Okay, monkey's almost colored in. And now that I've got all of this done, I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two, but this one is darker in some areas, right? This one is very light looking. So I'm going to come in with the dark one. This is a nice thing about the blends too. You get them in a light and a dark. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of dark here. And we're just gonna kind of come down and around in a few spots, darken down his skin a little bit. So when you get the two blends, one light and one dark, right? You're able to do some shading because you don't have just like one color like you get with the markers. So I'm able to kind of come down here do a little bit of shading on him and you can see now that he's got a lot of dark right you can see the dark really well if you come back over top with your light color now and kind of try to blend the, the lines together it just it really it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing right you get like so much depth this way I'm just going to do it in a couple of spots here, just on his head and his belly. I'm not really worried about the rest of him, but you can see that there's a lot of um, nuances, really, to our little monkey here. So now we're just going to finish putting this one together. Now that we got the coloring done, that was like the hardest part, right? So we're going to add some adhesive to our white circle and layer this on this one. The nice thing about circles is there's really no, you don't have to worry about doing it so straight, right? It's going to be perfect. We are going to... Oh, did I put that on with dimensionals? I did. You know, I forget sometimes what I do. Dimensionals, we're going to do four. We're going to do four, right about there. That's perfect. Okay. Four and done. Okay, so I'm kind of also, my dimensionals are going to cross over my linen thread here. So just kind of like that. Keep that in mind where your dimensionals go. Yep, I didn't overlap them too far that way. So that was nice. Um, we need to put our monkey on and we're going to kind of, our monkey's going to hang off here a little bit. I want him to also have that same dimension. 
almost lost him for a second. There we go. So I'm gonna also put a little bit of glue on the monkey where I think he's going to hit the circle here. So I have a combination of glue and this little dimensional. And if you do it just right, whoop, cover the dimensional there, buddy. You can have it look like the monkey is almost holding one of the bananas on the circle. I think that's really cute. And then for the banana, I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive here on the top and bottom. It's almost like he's holding a telephone. <laughs> oh, this is really sticky and small. So I'm gonna bring in my this, this putty tool here. See if I can get that to come this way. And then put this up here in his hand. He's got a banana, he's got a banana phone. There we go. And the reason I'm, put, I'm using the top and the, the bottom here on the monkey is just so that there's a little bit more um, security here and putting that little banana in his hand. How cute is that? All right, that is card number one. We made it through, I saved the card. Make sure you guys can see it. Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh my goodness, I love these cards. All right, so, and again, you can see the difference here in, you know, you can have your emboss folder um, it's it doesn't have an orientation so you can choose which side I don't even know I think I almost like this one better this this craft sedent was like the best I think I like this one better than this one so that's really awesome all right so that is card number one with our little monkey okay just coming in to check real quickly hi Deb Jess loves the bananas the bananas are really cute and Sandra says she loves the color. I love that. All right, let's move on to our next card. We have our swinging card right here. This is kind of like, it's fun. I just thought it would be a fun card. Now we're using kind of some masculine colors again. And so we've got a card kit here that is full of mossy meadow, some beautiful, um, Oh look, fishing paper. So if you really wanted the fishing paper, uh, that's from the Gone Fishing Paper Pack. So that's always fun to like kind of go through and see which paper packs are gonna work well. I'm giving you a couple of pecan pie um, punched pieces because I love that bow punch. That is my favorite punch. And then I've cut out some more, um, some really fancy little stylish shapes for you. So let's get one card kit here and we're gonna put this one together next. And I do have, again, a card base. So here's our card base. And you're gonna see that this card base has some side stamping on it. So we're gonna do a little bit of stamping before we get uh, too crazy with all of the next monkeying around that we're gonna do. So I'm gonna bring in that branch stamp. This is a stamp that is perfect for the monkey to hang off of, but we're not having the monkey hang off of it this time. We're just using this for a background. So we're gonna come in here. This is Mossy Meadow ink. So we're doing the tone on tone, the, the stamping um, here. And basically what I did was I kind of just started at the top and I put my branches crisscrossing them a little bit because I wanted the leaves to be on the outside. So the middle part is gonna be completely covered, but I don't, I, you know, I want it to be pretty too. So I'm gonna kind of just, I'm covering over, kind of crisscrossing as I go, making sure that the leaves are on the, um, and I can make some go off farther, some stay on. So right now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna focus on this side, just kind of come, coming down here, adding as many leaves as you like. And now we're gonna switch to this side. And you're gonna see as I'm doing this, you're gonna be like, wow, the middle is a total disaster. And that's okay, it's meant to be that way. Like it's supposed to be kind of messy looking. We're covering it up, so there's no harm there. And now I want a little bit more here off the bottom as well. So I'm just gonna come in here, bring in my leaves, a couple of spots, and just like that, just like that, we have a mess in the middle, but the outside is going to be so cool. So let me show you as we put this layer together and I'm looking, yes, I'm, I don't need to worry about twine just yet. The fish are going down. We're gonna put this piece onto some very vanilla. So this designer series paper has vanilla rather than white. So it's always really nice to have vanilla on hand. I don't use it a lot. In the comments, let me know, are, are, do you guys ever use vanilla? I have rarely used the vanilla, but when you want it, you want it. So I do, I, I'm glad sometimes that the designer paper makes me pull out some vanilla cardstock so that I have to use it. So now we're just matting this along here on the card front. 
And now we covered up the messy middle and we just have some cute little leaf patterns all the way around. Isn't that fantastic? I love it. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on our vanilla pieces here, and then we're gonna deepen down some of our green as well. So this, this calls for a swinging monkey. And you have a little, you're gonna have a little square here of vanilla, but we're gonna do this in a diamond shape, right? So here's my card again, skinny. We're not using memento, Julie. Let's put that aside. Let's bring in pecan pie. That would be a nicer monkey color for this card. All right, so pecan pie, really awesome brown once again. We're gonna ink up our monkey and we're gonna have him swinging right down here in a diagonal fashion. Just like that, he's so cute. I love it. All right, we also need to do just swinging by to say hi. This is our sentiment. It fits just right in this little um, die cut flagged piece, this little banner. So we're gonna be able to get that in there. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, while we have out this ink, and we're gonna bring in a sponge dauber, this is how I'm coloring my monkey. So pay, so this is, this is like the before and after. So before, he looks very plain. He looks like he needs color, right? Once I add in some, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on this one, I think. Once we add in some color on the sides, it just really changes up the monkey like he looks like he has color on it he, he doesn't look as naked he doesn't look quite as naked anymore we're gonna also just very little bit of um color here on this little piece with the pecan we're just making everything a little bit darker on the edges so there's those two pieces i love sponging so much it's like probably my go-to thing and then we're going to bring in the green did I put my green ink? Oh, over here by the tree. That makes sense. Okay, the mossy meadow coming in with another dauber. And this time we're gonna do this piece right here. Just a little bit along the edges here. Not much of this is gonna show, but I do love the stitching. So we're just gonna darken this down a little bit. If you get a lot in the middle, it's okay because the monkey's gonna cover pretty much all of this. And then we're gonna darken down this one too. And it just takes a minute to do this little bit. And it adds so much. Okay, so there we go. We've got all of our pieces darkened down. Now we're gonna work on our, our monkey mechanism. That's what I'm gonna call this, monkey mechanism. So here, all right, here's our parts and pieces. Let's put our little, our little leaves on here. This is, again, from the bow punch which I completely adore. We're just gonna kind of dry fit it here. That looks good to me. A little tear and tape. You could glue these two if you want to. The reason, honestly, that I use the tear and tape more often is because I don't wanna pick them up again. I usually place them and I'm like happy and I know that if I pick them up to put glue on them, I am not going to figure out exactly where they should go. Now these ones, to be honest, they're very flat. So I'm gonna show you the difference between the flat and the boingy ones, right? I think I'm gonna leave these ones boingy. I did add glue to here because I was afraid it might interfere with this mechanism. We're gonna see how that works though. Cause you know, sometimes I like to change it up a little bit, try some different things. Let's um, glue our banners together. So we're gonna do that really quickly. This little vanilla one will fit in the middle of this green one with quite a bit on the outside edges and that's okay. This little monkey, this little swinging monkey here, he's just gonna go right here on this piece of die cut that was enhanced with mossy meadow ink, just like that. All right, so before we go any further, we have to do some technique. <clears throat> and we're bringing in the piercing mat and the paper piercer. I need a sip of water. My allergies are killing me. All right, so with the piercer, so this is from the Take Your Pick tool. Normally you guys see me with the spatula end, but you can twist it, open it, flip it, like those Boy Scout knives, right? Now you have a piercing end. So on my little monkey, I'm gonna put little pierces right at the end of his, um, where his paws would be, right? So two little spots right there. I'm actually gonna kind of make sure this is big. This, this hole needs to be a little bit bigger. <clears throat> and then we're gonna put one on each side of our little banner here because we're gonna wrap our twine. We're gonna put our twine through here. 
and it's going to be tricky, but we're going to do it. Now, if you didn't want to do this, you could, in theory, just uh, put things on dimensionals and call it a day. I'm wondering how much twine I wanted. Let me see if I find my directions real quick while I'm sipping. Oh, I said two seven inch pieces. Okay, good. Let's cut those. <clears throat> I'm going to be generous tonight and do maybe eight. Okay. So you're going to have twine with your kits, so you should be good. Or if you don't get the twine, you should have twine at home. You should have something that you can definitely use in here. All right. So for this first part, we are going to pop this through here and we're going to pull this up, but we're going to, on the end, we're going to just do a little knot, just a small one. doesn't have to be fancy. Just knot that up. And then when you pull it, you should have that little stop right there, right? Now this time it's going to come up through the back of our monkey's little paws here. If I can see this, I might need to like go off camera and, no, oh, I got it. Okay. Wasn't sure if I could see that or not. Okay. So we're stringing half of our sign this way and we're going to repeat. See, that's not too hard, right? Let's, I say that, but let's see what happens next. All right. We're going to go through this way. This way will be better through this way. I didn't get all the twine through. Let's see if I can fix this. Let's start over. So you can see I'm unraveling it a little bit here. I'm going to enhance that a little bit with some spit. Maybe. Oh my goodness. We're going to try to get this threaded in. We're going to flip to the other end. No, that's not going to work either. We're going to cut another piece. This is live. I'm doing this live. Okay. We're going to cut another piece because I don't want to struggle with this for the next 15 minutes. You'll be like, okay, fast forward, please. Maybe I need to make my hole a little bit bigger there. Okay, here we go. We got this. So again, we're going to make a little knot here at the end. And we're going to pull this one up. I might need to make a double knot because I made the hole too big. <laughs> I made the hole big now. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate it. Okay. There. That's a little bit bigger. So that's going to sit in there nicer. All right. Now, this has to come up through the back of my monkey's hands if I can't get it in there. Make sure the cardstock is kind of more open, hopefully. In. Okay. Off camera, perhaps, but I'm doing my best here. There we go. I got it. Okay. Phew. All right. Now we have to just kind of straighten this around a little bit. <laughs> I think I got my sign all twisted. Which way does it need to untwist? This way, this way, this way. And you're watching this going, this is a great idea, but holy cow, right? It's really not that hard. So here we go. So we have our, our little strings coming up here. They are extra long right now, which is nice. And then this is gonna go on our card. So we're gonna kind of, we're gonna flip this over for a second and dimensionals onto the back of our little monkey piece. See, the, e this, the coloring part of this one was super easy, right? I just stamped it and added a little extra, you know, sponging ink. I didn't, uh, I didn't go crazy here at all. However, the mechanics of my card, that calls for something a little special. All right, so let's bring the card in, and we're going to just pop our little monkey here right up at the top and kind of in the middle, right? So he's, he's pretty snug up here at the top. And now we're going to bring his little string up and kind of wherever you want it to be, you know, you want it to be, how low do you want it to be basically is where we're going to go, right? Oh no, you guys, my knot came out of this one. Okay, we're going to try this again. I pulled it right out. Yikes. This is some serious monkeying business here. All right, I might need to fix this change up my knot a little bit 
We might need to trim that a little bit. And there we go. See if I can pull it back through. And then maybe I need to add a little bit more to this knot. I must have knots on the brain about this time every year because my wedding anniversary is coming up on Wednesday on Stampin' Up's free shipping day uh, is my wedding anniversary. Uh, 37 years is the number. And I think if it wasn't last year, it was two years ago. I actually, I did a nautical card that required nautical knots and my husband was in the Coast Guard and it was my anniversary as we were doing the the, the Monday show and I said would you please come up to my craft room and do a knot live oh my gosh it was like such a hit so um he came up and he did the little fancy knot and it was so cool um and I loved it I'm just like so excited that he did that for me and so this is the time of year that I have you know tying knots tying the knot right on my brain must be because here it is my anniversary week and I'm down here. I'm struggling with knots now if I had had him come up to do this it would be a piece of cake and my knot just came out of this one again we're gonna we're gonna just pretend that's there though so we're not gonna keep we're not <laughs> we're not gonna keep fussing with this because I got it to work on this card. I'm just having some struggles with this one. And I will I will come back through and I will fix this little flying swinging piece right here. Now, again, if you didn't want to do this whole swinging thing, you could just skip all of this and you could um, you could obviously put this down with dimensionals, put it down straight if you wanted to. But I just wanted to show you that it does work. It just takes a little bit of finessing. So this one is almost done. It just seems that my knots are not staying. I might, what I might do is I might put them through here and then add a little tear and tape to the back so that they don't come off. So I would put a little bit right there on either side. So this one is mostly done. We're gonna call this mostly done and we're gonna move on to card number three because I did not realize that this knot was gonna be terribly difficult to do live today so okay that's monkey card number two I hope you enjoyed the card idea if nothing else hopefully the card idea was exciting to you something different I try to show you different different things so thank you guys you I just checked messages okay you guys are so sweet with anniversary wishes thank you so so much all right this last card is really adorable this is actually a shaped card and this card is uh, originally, I got the card, the dresser idea from Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. So if you look for Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts, she's the one who did a video recently on this little dresser, which I think is so cute. Now, my take is different from hers. Um, she did different colors. She, she did her monkeys differently. She didn't use this. She didn't stamp her dress. So there's differences, right? This is the um, copy and selectively edit form of this card. This card is just the cutest thing ever. So I'm gonna show you that when you get your card kits, you're going to get a card base. It's gonna look like this. So it's already gonna have this little chunk out of the bottom that creates that little, um, that chest of drawer the, the bottom dresser little kind of insert. So you're gonna get two card bases that are chunked up just like that. I'm gonna show you though how I did it in case you're interested um, in creating this at home. So this is just a card base that I'm starting with. And let me grab out all the pieces we're gonna need to do this one so that we can get this one underway and in the books. And again, you have supplies here for two cards. So I've gotta to remember to grab everything out. This is one of those, that's one of those. That's gonna be a scrap. I think I have everything I need. I need three drawers. I need the topper. I need to do some, yeah, okay, that's that and that's that. Oh yeah, here's the rest of my drawers. Okay, separate. There's a lot of little pieces to this one. It's really cool though. And we're gonna do our monkeys and this will be the third different way that we're gonna try doing up some monkeys here. So let us talk about how the drawer works. Now this is a, let, let me let me stop. This is a four by eleven. This piece of cardstock is four by eleven. Kelly will tell you those measurements too. So it's not four and a quarter. Normally it's four and a quarter, but this is four by eleven, and there's a reason for that too. So we're going to bring in this really cool punch. I call it the pillow punch. I think it's called the lasting label. Um, but you can see here that's got a really cool design. So we're going to keep this closed. This is the bottom, right where it would open. We're going to put the punch in here. And we're gonna line it up side to side so that it's even. And we're gonna find the bottom edge 
of the punch right where this little scallop ends on either side and then it begins to poof out we're going to stop right there we're going to line it up side to side and we're going to punch both of them at the same time so that's how you're going to create that little bottom edge um, these are going to be little scrap papers that you're not going to need so you just um, you can create this with different punches that are similarly shaped you just have to look for something that would fit there now for the top piece this is really tiny and what we're going to do is we're going to add some adhesive here along the top edge we're going to put this piece on and it's going to sit flush so it's not going to it's not going to go over the top and you want it to be kind of centered side to side so if i flip it over and i know this is white cardstock but i flip it over you've got a little bit showing from side to side there and it is it's straight here along the top of the fold and what we're going to do to create our dresser is we're going to bring in our paper snips and we're going to hand snip we're going to kind of come up from the edge here and out so you get that unique little um, fold or i'm sorry that little cut there like a little and we're going to do the same thing over here we're going to just come up from the edge and go out and i did it back i did it on the back side there for that one because it's just easier to do it that way so there it is there's our little dresser here's our drawers here's our sentiment piece and we're going to do a couple of monkeys and it's going to be so awesome so let's do some sponging now i chose to do green we're going to do a little sponging and stamping here again you're going to get these in white you want to do pink you want to do blue what color do you want your dresser to be right in your in your monkeys now you do have this the only color that you have to work with really is this this green piece but if you have the double oval punch you can change that out or you could just swap out the sentiment piece altogether. so this is going to be just a real quick bit of sponging here well maybe i want to do the front side that's a nicer cut right there so this just gives us a little bit of color so I'm going to quickly go around the edges of my dresser, just like that. And I just thought it was, um, the dresser needed a little bit more. When I did my card, I was like, what else can I add to this card? So I decided that one of those beautiful little leafy shapes from the stamp set would work perfectly as like a little design accent piece on my dresser drawers. It's really cute right all right we're gonna while we're out here we're gonna just add a little bit more color here sponge happy here this is again the double oval scallop double scallop oval punch that's what it is I love it and everything here we're doing is green 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 okay so we got that one we got that one what else do we need oh we need to do with our monkey punch there are little ears in here um, so the monkey punch will punch out I meant to show you this earlier right monkeys if you're doing regular cardstock which is what we're doing today it's going to punch out two ears in the punch and of course you have to swap out colors as you go it's got the little monkey face and then it's got a banana which obviously we stamped a banana earlier and did but those are those are the items you can cut out with your monkey punch we're going to use these little tiny i'm going to give you a scrap paper here in your kit this little tiny ear we're going to punch this out six times one two three four five six now you're going to have a lot of shrapnel uh in paper shrapnel i call this paper shrapnel like right all the parts and pieces that you don't want but you are going to end up with six and if you lose one in your paper shrapnel you should have enough paper you can punch another one i think i might have lost one let's see if i can find it oh i got one over here okay so while these are here i'm just going to add a little bit of this green with my dauber I'm just gonna catch them right here where they lay on my paper whether they're right side up or not they're getting some they're getting a little green ink here okay so there's my little six guys right there they're tiny right oh and while the green ink is out we also need to do the dresser itself so I'm gonna come along here to the top and while this isn't super inky I'm just gonna kind of come lightly across this section and kind of push the ink along that edge a little bit so it just deepens down that piece without adding too much right and then we're going to come this way and again you can add as much or as little ink as you want we're going to do all the edges so 
it shouldn't take too, too long, right? And there is that. Now, while this is out, let's do our sentiment. And our sentiment is little monkey because it's kind of a baby card, right? So this is kind of like perfect for little babies, little kids. So we're going to stamp little monkey on the oval. And then we're going to stamp our drawers here. Let's do that real quick. So I'm going to line them up. <clears throat> and I only used one. Let's see. I used this one right here. So I used the one that had five little leaves. There's another one in here that has four. I used the one with the five leaves and here's how I did it. I kind of used the center at the end of the stem here as like the center and I kind of went down like that kind of in a downward angle. Then I rotated my stamp and I'm going to catch the edge here of the stem and I'm going to do the same thing kind of in the middle. So it gives you a look just like that, right? So I'm going to do that with each one. One that way, rotate my stamp, try to line up the stems and go like so and then one more I just felt like it added a lot to the drawers it just looks kind of elegant I think the chest of drawers so there they are just like that now I'm going to go ahead and these drawers are lined up really nicely I'm going to bring in drops of glue while they're lined up together so that I can get my knobs to be on here kind of evenly so there's three of those definitely want the pick tool to pick these up and I want to point out that there's a flatter side to these little ears believe it or not so if you're a, a bear for detail you will want to make sure that the flat side on all of them is facing in the same direction whether it's in out I happen to have mine going downward um, so if you're into all those little details that is one to pay attention to these little ears have a flat like a little flat section on them. They're not perfect circles. Oh, I seem to have an extra knob. I must have grabbed one from somewhere else. That's so funny. I thought I didn't have enough and I had one too many. So there we go. There's our little dresser drawers. Are they not the cutest? All right, we're going to pop these on with some dimensionals. So I'm just going to flip these over and do three on each. And I love this little, I love the shaped cards when you can do something like this that doesn't require a die, right? We didn't have to do a die cut. We didn't have to get our trimmer and we didn't have to like move our blade to this inch and then cut to here, but then trim this way, this way. And it wasn't anything crazy like that. So that's just really nice. So I'm going to dry fit my dresser drawers here. Hopefully you guys can see me good, right? Okay. See me well. I'm going to put them on here. I'm going to actually bring this one down a little bit, just like that. So again, this is actually the bones of your card. This is like, this has nothing to do with monkeys so far, right? So we are, we're not. Now keep in mind again, as you're putting them on here, which way your little knobbies go if you're, if you're using the monkey builder. Now, if you have other builder punches that have little um, circles in them, or you have a tiny little like not necessarily a hole punch. I think that might be too big, but something similar. Just make sure that you're happy with all of the placement as you go. And so, okay, how cute is that little dresser, right? Before we even do anything else, before we do anything else, we have the most adorable dresser. Okay, let's talk about our monkey next. Oh, I can glue this together real quick. And then we're going to add, we're going to monkey, we're going to add our monkeys in and we are going to be good. Okay, so also this this is one of my favorite punches. The bow punch and this double oval probably are my favorite punches. Let's bring in <clears throat> the paper that you're going to get with your card kit. This is pecan pie. And we're going to do two monkeys. So you're going to be able to get two monkeys out of there, no problem. And we're not going to use any of those ears or anything like that. Let's move some of this stuff over. We are going to do a little stamping, though, for his face. Let me close this up. I think we're done with green. So with the pecan pie on this piece. So I wanted to show you. There is, in, in this uh, stamp set, there's a little stamp here that you can put this face on the monkey if you want to. So you could punch this piece out, put this face on here. But I really wanted to use more, a more awake monkey for my... Um, my stamp here, my stamping. So I'm bringing back in the one that we did earlier with the monkey punch. And I'm just gonna, all I want is this little heart shaped piece right here. And let's see, we're gonna just bring this in here. So you can see here that I'm gonna line this up right here. 
and I'm going to get a monkey face out of that. I'm going to do the same thing again. So I want two of them. So let me just pop this on here. So you're just making sure this little heart shaped face fits onto this paper. Again, you're going to have a handle on this side now to push this in here, line this up. And we should be good right about there. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to, we need, so we need some pink ears. So we're going to bring in again, this little, we're going to do four of these because we have two monkeys. Okay. Should have four now in this little petal pink. This is petal pink color. Let me set aside things we don't need. There's little papers everywhere. And now you can see that if I put this on here, he has like a little heart shaped face, but mine look a little bit different because I took advantage of some sponging. So again, we're gonna do a little sponging. I have the pecan, I have my little dauber here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of come down. I wasn't really a fan of this little line around his face. So I kind of just brought the ink in here to kind of blend that and cover it. So it kind of kind of looks a little bit more like that. Now maybe that's not your thing, but showing you some different things. Maybe if you haven't tried something like this before, like, oh, okay, cool. All right, so, and also my monkeys here, if I put them on here, you can see the cardstock really is kind of plain. I think this guy went this way, didn't he? Um, so again, I brought in my, my dauber here and I kind of, I gave him like a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of some darkness here, kind of some fur, like little monkey fur. So I did his belly, I did, you know, a few things here, kind of tried to get his belly to be a little bit darker. He's got a really dark belly. All right, we're gonna bring this guy in and we're gonna do this guy next. So this is the third way you can use this. Um, the set, you can just punch your, your monkeys right out. You don't have to, you don't have to necessarily stamp them if you don't want to. I'm gonna put some there. Okay, now we final our, we have our final assembly here on our little monkeys. So we're gonna glue these down. A little bit of glue there. Get my monkey faces in order. Monkey face, so cute. So you can stamp these and color them. You can um, just stamp them and don't color them. That was option number two, right? And then this option here is all about the punch and some cardstock. So I'm just going to use my dog, my um, my take your pick tool here. Try to get that on his ear. He's got a messy. He's got a little more glue on there than he needed. All right, here's the last one right here. And then into the drawers they go. So there's my little monkeys. Are they cute? Okay. So we're gonna pop these on here. Now this one right here, we're gonna kind of hang him. He's gonna kind of, his tail's gonna hang here a little bit inside this drawer. So we're gonna hang him there. We're gonna just put some glue here in the middle of him. Pop his tail back in here. So he's hanging out right about there. Okay, so we're popping him down. And then this one, I liked him just kind of coming up out of the drawer. Now, if, if your dimensional um, doesn't quite have, you know, if you can't quite tuck him in where you want, maybe I'll tuck him this way and have his tail hanging out. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We'll tuck him this way. You can always trim a little bit. If you're tucking something in and you can't get it to go past the dimensional that you have in play, you can always trim where you're gonna tuck it because no one's gonna see that he's got, you know, we didn't chop off his legs on purpose, right? There's no harming of the animals during the card making. Um, you know, we're just trying to make a cute little card. Now for this one, I'm just gonna take advantage of these raised pieces and I'm gonna put a little glue top and bottom. So it's gonna catch top and bottom of my drawer here. And we're gonna pop this over here. And the last thing we need is a bow. We can do this. We can make a bow. I'm pretty sure we can make a bow tonight. I know I had a lot of struggles with twine on card number two, but I will come back through and fix it. So with this um, twine, we're just going to add a little glue dot here to hold that in place. You can roll it up a little bit and pop it on here. And I would love to know if you would make this in a different color besides green. Because, you know, color swap is coming and I haven't decided yet. 
But there's our little monkey card. A little chest of drawers. I think that's a really cute, really cute card. We're going to pretend card number two is perfect in every way, even though it's not quite, not quite up to snuff. Number two card. I like to bring them in here at the end. And then our first card, the bananas about you card. So I would love to know which one of these is your favorite tonight. We have a lot of monkeys going on. Phew, I made it through that class. Wow, you guys, I did not anticipate the difficulties of this one. All right, cool. I'm just checking to make sure you guys are still on here. This, um, Trisha, this could be a welcome baby card for sure. It could be. Um, if I was making it for my new granddaughter, it would be pink. It would be so cute and bubblegum pink. So I am going to definitely try to maybe change up my colors. Now the card kits that you get this week, which is fantastic, they're coming white. So you can use whatever color you want to create that chest of drawers in whatever color you like. So maybe you might see some more colors on Wednesday. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything, but maybe over on Positive Paper Crafters, I do like to do a little, um, a little change up in the color. So there could be some voting going on. Just checking out your comments. Jess loves the dresser card. I like it too. It's an easy shape card to do, which is fun um, because there really wasn't that. That was not the difficult part of this class today. So anyway, that is your card class. If you have any questions on that, you can leave them in the comments. Um, I'm going to be talking about these monkeys all week. So you're going to see a lot more of them. Come back Thursday at three. We're going to monkey around a little bit more with a fun fold, of course. And um, don't forget, this is huge, right? Free shipping day on Wednesday. Stampin' Up! R seriously snuck that in this afternoon, and quietly in the middle of the afternoon. They put that little information out there and they let it trickle down. So free shipping, if you have any questions on that, you can let me know. But um, if you use my host codes, you're going to get free shipping, you're going to get card kits, you're going to get linen thread and a mystery embellishment. I've been going through my craft room I have a lot of stuff I need to like give away and um, so I thought this was a great opportunity if you're spending 75 with me on Wednesday let me give you something even more so that's it for me thank you for spending time with me tonight I'm gonna fix up that other card you're gonna see it all corrected all right everybody take care and stay inspired create something beautiful and share the love bye